Hey guys, welcome back to Liquid Art and to this tutorial. We're going to be painting this tropical painting. It's a little bit longer than normal, but please just paint at your own speed and enjoy. So guys, this painting is going to be in three different stages. Remember, this is all designed for beginners. So this painting is perfect for if you want to do a cover up. So because we've got a dark background. So that's our first step. We're going to cover up this background. We're then going to do the drawing after we've let that dry and then we're going to paint on it afterwards. So I've got a canvas that I don't really want to use anymore. We're then going to use our big paint brushes first for some kitchen towel and some water. Then on our palette we've got the acrylic colours, black, blue, turquoise and yellow. And what we're going to do is we're just going to mix them all together. I don't want you to mix the whole lot at once. I want you to slowly work up that green uh, and build two into it and then we're going to go a bit darker with that black. So we're just going to make a really nice teal, kind of dark turquoise colour. And then just paint it onto our canvas. So ideally, if you've got a white canvas, this will just be fine and you can just paint like normal. If you find that it's a little bit, you can still see the background, you might need to do like two coats of the background colour. So with this tutorial, I'm just going to speed up a few different parts of it because I was painting very slowly and you guys can paint at your own speed when you're doing this. So first step, I just want you to cover up this background. And just remember when you're painting that it's always dries darker than it looks when you paint it on. So if you find that it's got really black or anything and you don't want it to be that dark, you just want to lighten it using some blues and some yellows. So once we've filled this all in, our next step will be to draw it on so we need it to dry. So I actually went and used a hair dryer on this to get it to dry really fast or just let it dry for a few minutes. It's acrylic paint, it dries really fast. Now um, our painting is nice and dry and now it's time to draw. So nice and dry, make sure that there's no bubbles or anything or any wet patches. I'm going to use a white pencil, it's just so you guys can see, uh, you guys might want to use, use a HB, um, actually it will make it a lot easier when you're painting as well. So first thing we're going to do is this fern down here, so we're just doing a curved line and we're going to do another curved line underneath it to make that stem. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the leaves on it as well. So the leaves on this painting, or, or on this plant, is nice and tall and thin so we want them to be slightly rounded and evenly spread out we don't want them kind of touching each other but we don't want them really far apart either so we're just drawing these on nice long leaves and with all of this layout you can choose which bits you do want to do and you don't want to do so if there's a certain part that you don't like just don't draw it that's absolutely fine it's your painting now for the bottom side you're going to pull these leaves off where they match the top but you just want them to be a slightly different angle so it's kind of mirroring each other nice so for the next bit we're now going to draw this monster leaf at the bottom here, so it's kind of the one that's half cut off. So we're just going to curve these out just a little bit. And now when we draw this, you can draw over each part if you want to, because we are going to paint over them and you won't be able to see them. But try and draw it so that it's all these different layers. So this one's just nice and curved and it's got a few curves as well. And now I'm going to do all the flowers. So you just want to do two stems here. For where these flowers are going to go and simply all our flowers are going to be is a few petals connecting to each other so you're just looping them around each other and having where the pollen would be the head of our flower in the middle you could turn these into lilies if you wanted to they could be daisies it's entirely up to you guys And then here we're just going to do kind of, uh, they're kind of like wreaths I guess for these. So I've just done a few long bits along here. Now these next plants, they're very simple. You just draw a line and then you just do some circles off of them. So just draw each line. 
and then little circles that are parallel to each other going all the way up. Just when you paint these ones, just try and make sure the circles are away from the flower, otherwise it's going to look like you've drawn a line straight across another line. <laughs> so now we're going to go on to drawing our big monster leaf. Now these are going to be kind of a heart shape. So you're going to gently draw this round. We are going to rub out certain parts, um, so try not to make it too thick. So we're just drawing this heart shape. And then we're going to cut out certain parts here. So these are nice circular shapes. You don't want any straight lines when you do this. And now I want you to do the stem as well. And cut out a few circles in the middle as well. You can do as many as you, as little as you like with this. Uh, but my ones worked really well for just the shapes of the monster leaves that they were. And you want to kind of mirror it a little bit here. Um, but because there's a fern when it's going to be pink uh, going over it, I actually found it a lot easier just to kind of keep it to circles on this side. Nice. So now this bit down here, we're just going to do a few lines to make some more wreaths. They link straight up to where the monster leaf is. Um, try not to draw over the fern here too much, but don't worry about it if you do. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier when we paint it it'll make so much more sense then. So now we're going to go on to this bigger leaf up here. So again, you're going to do a heart shape. So I've started with the line down the centre this time, and then I'm drawing it up to that line that we've just created down the centre. So again, it's just like a heart shape. We want it nice and curved, we don't want to have any straight lines. And now with this one, it's going to be kind of a stripy leaf. So you just want to curve out, making sure that they meet each other in the center uh, and they're kind of a little bit thicker at the end. Next bit, we're going to do this other little leaf down here. So again, a little heart shape for this one. And then we're going to do circles down the stem this side. So the reason I haven't shown you the colour one just yet is it's a lot easier to draw this on while it's in the pencil state. So now we're going to do another one of these bits, okay, so they're just lines with circles parallel to each other along here. So I've just done two. Then I'm going to draw a, uh, it's kind of a poppy actually that I've gone for here. So we've got the head in the middle and then we've got the hassles going outside. And now we're going to go on to the leaves. So I've drawn the stem and then we've done a few little lines coming off and then just drawing our leaves. I've actually coloured this one in a little bit uh, so it doesn't get lost too much. You can do that with your leaves if you want to, um, but it will all make sense when you start painting. And we're going to do it step by step anyway so you won't get too lost. So now we're going to do these uh, long reeds back here. So these are really nice long ones coming off of that monster leaf and they're kind of uh, spiralling around it. So they're just bending just slightly as we draw them. They're not like perfect straight lines, they're all parallel to each other. Now we're going to draw some leaves up here. These are going to be the blue leaves, so they're going to be slightly different. You draw them exactly the same, they're just going to be a different colour. And then we're going to go on to this big set of leaves up here. So we're going to drag it from the top right down to the top of our monster leaf, and then just pull different areas off and create these leaves.
Nice, so that's our top leaves done. The next bit we're going to do is this fern in the centre. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing this lovely thin leaf like we did earlier and then we're going to do a long line down the middle and just do these leaves coming off here. Now they are going to go behind a little bit so don't worry if you lose them a little bit, we're going to paint them on later and we'll know where they are. So just do this little bit for now and then on the other side I want you to take these leaves into our gaps in our monster leaf as well. So just draw them on nice and gently and don't be afraid to bring them into these gaps. So now I'm gonna do these long leaves. So there, you start by doing a stem and then you're gonna make some wiggly lines bringing them along it. That's one leaf. Again, you can do it the other way around if you want. You can kind of create the shape and then draw a line straight down the middle. We're going to do one more here and then another one which is slightly smaller at the bottom. Like so. And then the last one you've got to do is my favourite flower in this whole thing. You're just going to do these little circular shapes around each other. And then you just draw in the gaps. So they're all coming away from one point, it's all spiralling out, uh, and they're just little circular shapes. So once you've done this bit, we're done with the drawing. So we're going to go get painting, I'll show you everything you're going to need. And who needs paint by numbers when you can draw it all out? So well done guys for this next, next second bit. We're then going to go on to painting. So I'll see you guys in a second. So guys, as you can see, I've now painted all of this bit and now I'm going to talk you through how we're going to paint it on this one. So it's exactly the same, uh, we've done all the drawing, we're just going to paint it now. So all you're going to need is your paint water, we've then got our kitchen towel, I've then got two paint brushes, I've got a small paint brush and a really fine brush. The fine brush is actually a size 4 which we sell in our packs, um, it's just a different style of one. And then we've got our palette. We've got our acrylic paints, white, yellow, red, turquoise, blue, and black. So that's all you're going to need today. We're going to mix all of these colours together to create this. So, as you can see on our painting, we've got all different types of layers. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to paint the bottom layers first and then build our way up so that our colours don't mix. And there's no blending for this painting actually, guys, so you don't need to worry about that today. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start on this blue one at the back here. So wash your paintbrush, I'm using my bigger paintbrush first, um, I'm going to take some white and some turquoise, mix it together, I then want a tiny tinge of green in it, so I'm going to take a little bit of yellow as well, uh, you're going to need a little bit more blue in it than anything though, it wants a tiny tinge of that green in it. So take a little bit more white, a little bit of that more of that turquoise, it's just got a tiny tinge of green in it, and that's all we want. And all you're going to do is colour this area in. So we're going to do these long kind of uh, uh, reed bits at the back here. So we're just going to fill it in. You can swap between using this paintbrush and the finer one. The finer one is so much easier to get really precise. Now, as you're painting this, all the way through this painting, I just want you guys to remember that when you wet your paintbrush and you use a little bit too much water, sometimes it goes a little bit too runny. Now, normally that's not a problem. You can normally just, um, it will just be fine and it will blend or what have you. This time on this painting, because it's a dark background, that won't happen. So what will happen instead is it will just dry darker. Um, you'll still be able to see the background. Uh, so obviously that's not ideal for what we want to do. So just make sure that when you're painting, it's quite opaque. So you just want to make sure that there's more white used in your paint so that that doesn't happen. So that's going to happen with all of these colours, uh, just because it's on a dark background. So just keep that in mind. Keep adding the white paint and don't let it go so runny.
Nice, so now for the next bit we're going to do this bit down here. So this time we're going to use some blue and some of the lighter colour that we used as well. So mix a little bit more blue into it and this bit down here. When you paint it, try not to cover up that fern too much where that pink bit's going to be. Try not to cover that up too much, um, but just paint this bit in this blue colour and you're going to bring it right up to where that monster leaf is. Nice. Now for the next bit, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to using a light blue and we are going to do this plant here. This is my favourite plant in this painting and how we're going to do it, we're going to imagine how we drew it to start with. That is going to be the centre of our flower. So it's got a centre and then we're going to work outwards. So you're just going to cover this in this light colour first. So you're just going to fill in each one of these circles. And then once we've done that, we're going to go in with the darker blue and we're just going to put a dot imagine it's on the side of that inner bit so the top bit is going to be the bottom bit and then as we work our way around these blue bits are going to head more towards the top the reason we're doing this is so that this looks a little bit more 3d it looks like it's kind of looping around that center Good. So now we're going to take that darker blue and as you can see I've just dotted it in the bit that's towards the centre. So now it's just going to change direction just slightly. You obviously don't need to do this if you don't want to, you could just keep it towards the bottom. Um, it's up to you guys. Nice, so that's all of our blue layering done. We're now going to create a green. So I want you guys to mix together some yellow and some blue. And we're just going to paint this little bit down here. And then I want you guys to paint that monster leaf, okay? So I'm speeding up through this one just because this bit is the longest part of this painting. Um, you want to keep this one solid colour. If you notice, when I have painted this, I ended up like mixing and matching and putting lots of different ones in try not to do that you don't have to keep this one green i think the best would be an emerald green so a little bit more blue into it than anything um but do whichever one you like you could have a bright pink monster leaf you could have i would try not to do a blue one because it's right next to blue it's up to you guys so just make sure you're going around each one of these slits all of the holes in this leaf and when you get to the um, stem of our leaf, I want you to try and keep the background there. So you're just gonna loop it around that. Nice, so now for the next bit I want you to mix a lighter green, so you're going to use kind of the same green you already were using, just add a little bit more white into it, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go slightly around the edges of our monster leaf, around the circular bits, around the cut out bits, you don't have to do the whole thing, I wouldn't say draw around the whole thing, just do a few little bits here and especially go down the line of that stem.
nice so we're now going to go on to doing this big leaf up here um, so it's more like a it's a very stripy leaf this one so I want you to mix a little bit black into your green we want this bit to be the darkest part okay you want it darker than the background uh, and you don't want to make it too light with this bit so you're just going to do it dark and then in a second we're going to lighten the other part of the stripes up with a lighter green So now mix that light green together for me, a little bit more of a leafy green this time, mix some white into it and what we're going to do is we're going to paint these stripes. I also want you to paint down the stem of this leaf as well. So this is that bit I'm doing now. And then you're going to fill in each part that we are already drawn on. So now we're just going to do this leaf here, it's a little bit more blue this leaf so I'm going to mix some more blue into it as I paint it. So we're trying to keep this a little bit uh, more green and blues for this leaf, you could do it a different one if you want because it's kind of overlapping a blue anyway. And then in the second we're going to mix that darker green that we used for the top leaf and mix it in. So I'm just using that now, just mix it in just slightly. And then for this one, for the stem, what I want you to do is you're going to take a little bit of white and you're just going to do dots down the centre. Nice. So now we're just going to do uh, blue leaves up here. So we're just going to paint them on for now. Uh, I am going to come back to this later on and we're going to go over it for like one of the last steps. Um, but just paint this bit blue for now. lovely now this time i want you to make a purple so that's red and blue mix it together and we're going to paint this monster leaf down the bottom here so we're just going to do the outline of this and then i want you to color it in so with that gorgeous purple color And then you're just going to add a little bit of white into it as well. So we're going to mix it here on the canvas just to make it a little bit lighter. Once you've done that, super good wash with your paintbrushes because we're going to go on to using our yellows now, okay? So we're going to do all of these leafy areas, the stem of our flowers, we're going to use a yellow colours. So we're going to use a little bit of white in with that yellow to again make it more opaque. So we're just going to use that now on this part here. So how I would recommend you doing it is you're going to paint one leaf, fill it in. You might want to use your bigger paintbrush to do that and then do the stems. So we're just doing that for each of these goldeny colour leaves. So don't worry about the colour too much for now. We're just using a light yellow to start with and then we're going to go back in with some oranges in a second. So now I've just mixed a bit more of an orange and I'm just going to brush it into these leaves. And I've also done the stem of my flowers as well. And 
And now we're coming onto these leaves as well. So we're just putting in this yellow color for now. And now we're coming onto this fern here. So for this fern, it's a much lighter yellow. I want you to use some yellow and some white for this one. And we're gonna do two layers on this. So we're just gonna do this one for now. We're then gonna go back to the leaves for a minute and then we'll come back to this fern as well. Just when you're doing this fern, please make sure that when you get to the monster leaf, you go in between the gaps. So it looks like it's behind the monster leaf. And now I'm just taking a bit more of an orange into this one. I love the colour of this, how it contrasts that blue. So we're going to do this for these leaves and we're going to do it for these other leaves as well. And then for the fern, we're going to go back to it with our lighter yellow and just sort that out. So now guys, give your paintbrushes a really good wash for me and what we're going to do is we're going to create our pink fern over here, okay? So I'm using a little bit of red and some of that purple that we used earlier, just mixing it in. You could do this a really bright pink colour if you wanted to, uh, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to mix this colour now and if you look, it's kind of like a muted purpley pink. So all you're going to do for this fern is you're just going to paint the stem and then you're going to paint the leaves off of that. But just remember what I said earlier, so as you can see, mine kind of didn't get enough paint on the brush for it to move all the way across. Just try not to make it so runny, else it's going to go see-through. And this bit is going over a lot of other bits. It's going over that big monster leaf, it's going over the blue bits we've done earlier. So we need it to be really nice and strong so that it doesn't get washed out in the background. And now down here, we've done these earlier, so what we're going to do is we're going to do little stems on these ones and then these two little circles. So we're going to keep this middle one here pink and the rest are going to be a different colour. So we've done that one. Now I'm going to go inside the flowers that we made earlier. So we're going to use a little bit of yellow. I'm just going to dot inside. Just these two, we're going to leave the other one, we're going to make that more like a poppy. So we're just going to do that and then give your paintbrush a really good wash for me. We're going to take the bigger paintbrush this time. Just make sure it's nice and clean. And now we're going to take a little bit of red and a little bit of white. Remember the white is more to make it more opaque rather than pink. And we're just going to dot around these flowers here. So we're just filling in these petals. We're going to paint it this colour to start with. So do the same on the other one. And then we're going to add red to the bottom of it and then we're going to come back in with some white in a little bit where it won't mix in so easily so it's going to really pop out with that white. It's nice. And then just dab that white in now. Nice. And now we're going to fill in this top flower using that same colour that's on our brush. And now we're going to go back onto these flowers up here. So leave the centre of that flower for now, we're going to come back and put some black on it later. So we're just going to fill this one out, I went for a bit of an orange for this one over here. And then for the other ones I went more of a white colour. So 
So now for this next bit, I want you to mix a green. We're going to do the last leaves that we haven't done, okay? So just mix a green up for me. You can do whatever green you like for this one. I went for more of a leafy green, so I made it quite light. And we're just going to fill these leaves out down here in the middle. And then this one here is going to go behind our monster leaf. So just make sure you're going in between the slits. These bits here as well. And I want you to just make sure you do in that little bit of the hole in our monster leaf. So it's really showing that it's gone behind it. Nice. So now we're just going to fill out these last little ones. I've gone with a really light pink this time. Just for these one. And then the others I want to make more of a white colour. So I'm using a little bit of pink on this, but actually I went in and put some white on it just afterwards. So literally just driving that white straight into it. And then I'm going to draw my own ones up here. So we didn't draw these up to begin with, so we're just drawing a white line. And then dots either side. And then down here, it's slightly different for this, we're just going to do these little circles, kind of oval shaped leaves going up, and we're going to join them all together. And now I'm just going back over these lighter ones like I said I would. So one here, another one here, and then one more towards the top. Now I'm just going to dab inside this flower up here, just a tiny little bit of white. And now the last little bit, we're just going to go over these leaves again. So make sure you've got a really nice bright electric blue to go over these. And all I'm going to do now is just do a little few more touches on these flowers. So once you've done that, thank you all so much for hanging with us. We'd love to see what you did and please share, like and subscribe to this video. We'll see you all next time.